Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Caddy Jacks. I'm yes. Caitlin. I'm Jackie. And we're in podcast 17. And we're wearing knitwear in July. <laughs> and we're spitzing. So we decided to do this in two segments. The knitwear segment <laughs> and, and the sans knitwear yes, segment. Yes, but we will have clothes on. <laughs> well, we wondering. can have lingerie. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sure. Nice. I, I know you've been waiting for that. Oh, moment. it's my opportunity. Right. Finally. No. So we're gonna talk so we're about gonna talk really fast because sweating. Yeah. Pro- yeah. Anyway. So hi. Let, okay. We'll end with that one. We'll oh start my. here. Oh, we'll start oh, here. Okay. Yeah. Because we're starting with me. We're starting with okay. me. Okay. So. Oh. Because we're, this is, cause we have more to talk about. Okay. Yeah. Let's have, start with you, Jackie. Okay. You all know what, what this are is. You, I very. Oh my. I oh, can't, you can't even touch me. <laughs> my hands stick to it. Can you show show off oh. your new? Oh yes. Oh, we need to switch, switch places. Switch, here we go. Okay, sorry. There. Okay. Oh, there we go. So, what do you got there? I have a little caddy. And, and what do jacks. You got? Yay. Caddy jacks. Yay. Caddy jacks. Yes. Caddy jacks. So this is ter- so Teresa can keep us, you know, separate. And know who we oh, are. Oh, remember Ter- that from <laughs> the knitter skill. Yes, yes. yes. There and, you go, Teresa. Yep, that's for you. Yes. There yeah. you go. So I am wearing a ranunculus. I am. You're wearing it well. Thank you. Wow. I I am part of Christina and the ranunculettes. Yes. We got to wear these with her when she came to visit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> What's going on? Christina. Do I have mine backwards? I don't know. I don't you look know. great. If that's but anyways, good. there it is. Very cropped. You're getting a very intimate look at that. Probably too intimate. But anyway, this is the one skein version. I'm going to show you what yeah, I have the one left. skein version. Um, so oh, there's so the, it's Christina from the Chelsea Pearls. Yes, and it's her Chelsea Lux. Yes. There it is. That's Gorgeous. all I have yes. left. Oh, my gosh. And then that's look the mohair. That. This is an exposed brick. But we could do the mustache thing again. The, oh, okay. Thanks, Caitlin. You're welcome. Yes, and this is Knit Cafe Midori. You know this love, pattern. Love, love, love this pattern. Yeah, it's so good. Oh. So I don't have a lot to say about it. You saw it on Caitlin last week. Or well, last you saw time. my version. Your yeah, version. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right. We no, switched. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm gonna stand up one the more co- time. The just color so is see just incredible. The yarn, how pretty it is. Christina, your yarn mm-hmm. is oh. your yarns are you are a genius, yeah. genius, genius and artist. Absolutely. And anyway, we'll talk about. You I know because we want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, more yeah. to say, but we're gonna yeah. say it without without your work. So there it is. I uh, the pattern was just magnificently yeah. written. So go and make yourself one or two mm-hmm. or three. three. I know. I just have all in my head I, all different yes. versions want to do. Yes. It so looks spectacular. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. On okay. to me because I can't. <laughs> okay. Okay. What so are you wearing, I, Caitlin? I am wearing Pardon my me. finished party top and um, I'm afraid that this camera is just a little too <laughs> close. close for what's going to happen okay, when well, I see it. Let's look at this nice wide so I Yes. Rib. So the wide twisted rib. Abby Absol- Knits. Abby Knits party top. Um, and she just sold her 200th pattern, Yay! so we're excited for her. Yay! Um, and so this is part of our um, our Cal, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm going to show. Caddy so, Jack's party um, Cal. so I did El mine Fresco. out of Julie Aslin Leju DK, um, and the color is just amazing, so and good. the pattern is is just great. I I definitely modified it by doing a really lengthy rib and um, someone in our cal did that too and yep. she loves it. and i did um i did some waist shaping um just to bring it in a little bit but and i decided to go a little bit longer it's so sleeves. fun all the choices with yeah, this pattern you, you could, could do it short sleeves like. yeah you could do it crop more crop but i um i i wanted it longer i so. would do it again with a wider neckline and twisted rib which i don't know why i didn't do you didn't do twisted rib not up here i don't know what i was thinking that's what the pattern called i know i well it's because i did a tubular bind Um, on and whatever but i regret it because that's so beautiful yeah it's so i mean it's the lines of the raglan this color plays so well with all other colors i mean because it looked so beautiful with my blue one, which I don't have it here. I'll pull it out for part two. Yeah. But we just wanted to show off yeah. the knit, and we are going to, um, we have some details to share with sure. you about the end of the party, Cal. Remember that you can still play. Um, we're going to be having our drawing on July 28th. And there's Sunday. 
There's a thread in our Caddy Jacks Ravelry group, mm -hmm. and you can put your finished FO. It is either a party top in any yarn at all, or it's um, a three skein project. At the beginning of the Cal, uh, Elisa from Firefly Fibers offered all of us a discount on the Julie. So generous, Yay. yeah. On the Julie S. Lane yarn. So if you if you bought a, that yarn and made a project with that, like I made a Soldatna with mm -hmm. that, that could be entered or whatever three skein project. So those are all the entries. And um, we also at the at the drawing, when we do the drawing, you'll be eligible to win a Beautiful Sisters yes. project bag. They made special project bags Good. just for the event. I have one here, yeah. as we've been showing it several times. They have a name for them, but they're kind of origami bags, oh, and they yeah. fold. I yeah. can't think of the name, but they're beautiful. We yeah. can't wait to see those yes. at the trunk show, and one of our winners will get one of those. Another winner will be eligible for a Firefly gift card. And then finally, the grand like bonus prize is if you did this sweater in Julia Lane, then you'll be eligible also for a skein of her yarn. Ooh. Yeah, so Yay. that's very exciting. And I can't wait to get a picture of everyone who's there at uh, yeah. Firefly Sunday, our, yeah. 12 to 2, we'll be there. Yep. Well, Lisa's twinning with me. She did the same Yay. color, so I'm excited Yeah, and about Heidi. That. Uh, Heidi's yeah. almost done. She's working on her final sleeve, and Allie's got one. Yeah. So anyways, it's anybody exciting. who's there will take a big party photo, yeah. and we will definitely bring festivities along to make it fun. There's more to say about it, about the um, yarn crawl, but I'm going to say that when I'm not wearing my yes. sweater. I'm just going to talk about the Caddy But Jack's look at our part. lovely glowing skin, Dewey. What they dewy. call that dewy. dewy. Mm. 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 Yes, <laughs> I just. But I do love this. She's petting me. Well, I love this with the blue, and now yeah. I'm loving it with the pink. Yeah. Like I just want to sit here and look at these two colors together. I like it when our knits match. Yeah. Um. So, anyways, we'll we're gonna press pause and come back to you in t-shirts <laughs> to tell you more about what we've been up to and what's coming down the road and all of that. Yeah. So thanks for your beautiful uh, knit. Caitlin and, and you, Jackie. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. All right. Okay. We'll see you soon. Bye. Up as we speak. It looks good, Curly, though, Caitlin. Oh, you started. <laughs> I was just saying my hair is expanding in this heat as we speak. So. There's room. Look. Right. You've got all that room to grow into my hair. Right. Still I might take up more of the camera, though. Oh. So. And this is goodbye hair because my hairdresser likes my hair short. She just does whatever she wants. So. There's this tiny little ponytail, but that'll be gone. That'll be cut off. That was the that hair was top. That's a really good story. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. But we're anyway, cool now. We had a little we, yes. outfit change. Yes. We're back. I'm not wearing anything. Did we welcome yet. any of you? I don't know. I think we were so busy yeah, feeling hot. Sweating. Um, welcome. You, welcome. So if you're a returning viewer, thank you. If you're new, hi. Yeah. So again, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Jackie. Yeah. And I heard something amazing in yoga yesterday that I want to oh. share with you right oh, here. <laughs> so my yoga Please teacher do. is from Indonesia. That's his first language. And he said the most amazing thing. He said that in Indonesian, thank you, which I can't remember how to say it. It means I accept your love. Oh, isn't that neat? I accept your love. <laughs> but you have to say thank you first. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, we have so much to be grateful for. And the yes. fact that you want to spend time with us um, really it's does crazy. Yeah. well. It really does touch us, and we are so glad to be part of your life. And yeah. and we've had a lot of opportunities this summer to have the the strange, you know, interweb yeah. world come into our actual physical world, and that has been so it's wonderful. Been a, yes. So we want to talk you through some of that, and we'll hopefully we'll we'll show you yarn and finished objects too, yeah. and all that good stuff that you came. So here get for. out your knitting and start. Lot listening because we've got some stuff to share. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll keep you entertained Absolutely. for a while. Yeah, <laughs> we've already taken one break. Okay. Yeah. So, so where do we start? Caitlin? I don't know. I mean, I I feel like maybe we start with what two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, we had um, a lovely meetup with Christina and um, Red Bank Mike Tad um, from the Chelsea Pearls. Um, 
they were on their way back from their um, vacation in Minnesota and mm -hmm. convinced them that they should stop in Madison mm -hmm. for the night and hang out with us, which mm -hmm. they did, um, and they're with their son TJ, and mm -hmm. um, we had a very fun time, for sure. Mm -hmm. We brought James, and um, I think there was a little bromance going on between oh. James and Dad, which was pretty, they didn't even care that we were no. like, we were worried how think James that, would be. Yes. It was not just, because he doesn't behave himself, but that when we talk about knitting too much. Yeah, but <laughs> um, we had nothing to worry about because no. they talked music and they both are harp players. It was just crazy. But yeah. um, we got to spend some quality time with them and um, and it was just a blast. And we got to wear our ranunculus together mm -hmm. and there was a, we did mm -hmm. to get a photo op. But it, again, it was a heat wave, right? Yep. And so we had this big plan, like all three of us were going to wear our our uh, ranunculus and it was probably 95 degrees 100 percent humidity and all of us were like we can't do this so we brought yeah. it with us too bad we quick. weren't knitters as teenagers because who needs high risk behavior when you could just wear mohair in the summer well, right like, exactly woo, we're gonna wear mohair yeah, in the summer that was but not we, common sense prevailed and we just goodness. did a quick flashing but yeah the, their Christina's family is so lovely, yeah, such a loving a family, so that was really fun. And Miriam, we missed you. It would have been so great if you had been, but you were there in spirit, so. Yep, and um, we hope to meet you. Yeah, Ryan Bell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so that was, that was um, just super such a pleasure. fun. Super yeah, so fun, just talk hope, shop. We'll try to make us part of their family trip. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just show up at the cabin. <laughs> we won't. I think as long as we, we won't bring... crash their cabin. No. Okay, no. no. Yeah. But okay. anyways, we've got. So plans. that was that was a a fun, 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 fibery mm -hmm. thing. And then, then we went to Traverse City, Michigan, Michigan for the Wool and Honey event. That um, Meg from Wool and Cookies. Hi, Meg. Hi, Meg. We miss you. <laughs> Meg. The most generous <laughs> host in the universe. Yes. She sent her family camping. Yes. And we received these beautiful notes upon arrival. The girls oh. had decided which bedroom yes. each of us they would were stay so in. They were all, her, yeah. everyone in her yeah. family is so, so endearing sweet. and sweet. So that couldn't have been, she couldn't have been more gracious. No, and it just feels like we've known her forever. Yeah. We got out of the car. You know, it was all, this was all Instagram connection. We mm -hmm. never met Meg before and mm -hmm. she was crazy enough to invite <laughs> us to stay in her house. I don't know if she'll, you know, she'll I do it. I didn't give it a second thought either. Yeah, like, I know. Yeah. And then it was just from, we were going nonstop yeah. from the second we got there. Yeah. We stayed till up like till like two in the morning yeah. every night. <laughs> knitting and chatting and then we get up at eight and do it all again. Yeah. It felt like a week of vacation in this, you know, it was Thursday through Sunday and uh -huh. oh, Traverse City is just, that whole area is so beautiful. We got to hike in the dunes and um, sail. The sail and go to Fishtown and eat good food and mm -hmm. then and then wool and honey so mm -hmm. wow that was mm -hmm. it's just a remarkable it's like spot. an enchanted fairy yes. yarn shop yes in this beautiful place yeah. but it really it really speaks it absorbs the beauty around yeah. it and they're kind of symbiotic I'm sure you've seen their their yarn club where they have oh. and the way they you know, they'll take a photograph and dye yarn. I haven't, yeah. part, I haven't been part of any yarn clubs, no. but it, it was just and, so spectacular. And Melissa and Liz, hi to you. It was such a pleasure to meet you. What and, an amazing And everyone event that was at the, at the shop working, they worked their tails off. And absolutely graciously the whole time. Yes. Tiny little space, all of us knitters. Right, and, and the, so they had a plucky truck, trunk show, which mm -hmm. was just spectacular. And Oh, the grocery girls were there. <laughs> Hi, Jody and Tracy. Oh my gosh, yeah. that was and w the knitters just and took the, over. The knitters took over the town, right. and we just all had our lawn chairs outside, sitting outside the shop, meeting each other, and we met so many oh wonderful my gosh. people. I mean, the knitters out. The knitters are just amazing people. I think I've been describing it to our non-knitting circle of friends and. I think it's just that we're all so passionate about knitting. It brings us joy. Mm -hmm. So when we come together, it's filled with joy. We're mm -hmm. all talking about mm -hmm. our joy and sharing it. And 
Um, the people we met were just, I mm -hmm. mean, just like every person just had our heart. Mm -hmm. um, well, and it was, yeah, I mean, it was a love fest. <laughs> it was crazy. And so if anybody has a chance to go to any event, you just should go and mm -hmm. meet other, other knitters and it just will fill you up. Mm -hmm. So we... On, on so many levels, it yeah. fills you up. Yeah, yeah. and they, um, Wool and Honey just did a spectacular job. They had cocktails on Friday night for a ticketed group and brunch on Sunday, but really Saturday was the show because it was an all-day trunk show and a meet and greet with Jody and Tracy. And, um, and, and that was so beautiful to just see, even just be around, to just see the love that those two ladies yeah. inspire in people. Yeah. Like, I know it was exhausting, I'm <laughs> sure, but at the same time, what an achievement to like, yeah. <laughs> like just wave after wave of all of that love. And they, they were so they gracious. They such stamina. Yes. <laughs> so good. <laughs> and they were so knitting great. Viagra. I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't, I want to know what your secret is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. Um, it really was. But so the, the knit in really outside, that was so impromptu, it wasn't planned at all. Mm -hmm. um, and then, as if that's not enough, spending, you know, eight plus hours sitting outside with a group knitting, um, mm -hmm. Will and Honey put on a beautiful mm -hmm. beach bonfire and gourmet s'mores. That, and there were two, probably, what, 200 knitters that just, we just took over. And, and it this was tranquil beautiful oh, evening beach. and you just sit on in your beach chair with your feet in the water yeah. knitting and and just chatting i chat everybody's your best friend right you oh, oh wait we for, and we forgot on friday too um meg um introduced us to her knitting friends mm -hmm. um tracy, tracy and, and michelle, michelle and we had brunch with them and did a little sightseeing but then we went on a boat and cruise for two and a half hours mm -hmm. just sitting and knitting and, and I mean everything was just so charmed so mm -hmm. um yeah and but the beach knitting yeah I and mean, I you knitted up a storm mm -hmm. which you'll share later I I, I in the entire week no and think on Saturday I knit two rows on my work in progress and then when we got up off of the boat somebody was like oh What's that stitch marker there? And I looked down. I'm like, oh, that's my stitch marker. Oh, stitch marker that had been marking my pattern. So thanks to Julie. Oh, that's who, funny because yes, that's what oh, I'm holding in my hand too. Because Wait, that, we need like a blue ribbon award I know, for Julie. I just need to say Curtis. that that area is known for a certain type of stone. The Trotsky. Yeah, and so the knitters were all looking for the stone, and I just thought to myself. They just seemed hard to find. And yes, I was like, they were. I, if one comes to me, fine, but I let it go because I was like, I just want to be in the moment. I right. just want to be present. And he literally let it go. And this is just symbolic of the whole weekend. And then along comes Curtis. Am I? And Curtis. And, with his yeah. hands full, and let, oh. let's just show, that they have made... They, yeah. yeah, they picked up stones and made stitch markers. And this is Julie and Curtis of Stowe Studios, so mm -hmm. check them out. We'll link them below. Mm -hmm. Who um, are the most beautiful, lovely couple. And they see. just handed these out oh. to people. And so in that way, it just feels like... It was meant to be. It was, it was such a touching gift yeah. and the amount of time and thought and effort. They had not just the Petrosky stones, I hope I'm saying that yeah. right, but they, they had just... Them stones that they had found on, on the, the beach, beach that were just smooth they were just little I, I love to put these kinds of things in your pocket mm -hmm. it's just your worry stone but mm -hmm. um julie and curtis are you are the loveliest people mm -hmm. Ugh. and it, i don't know you so they've been together i'm going to tell your story and hopefully i don't get it <laughs> wrong you've been together for 45 years Julie was in seventh grade. I think Curtis was in ninth. Mm. They've been together that whole time. Julie's been a lifelong knitter. And then she taught Curtis to knit. Just a few years ago. Right. right? I, I don't so even know if it's more than a year. Time with her. And he had his own yarn stash and bought his own yarn. Mm -hmm. and, I uh, sat on the sofa with him during the plucky uh, craze. Oh, my gosh. It was, <laughs> anyway, they were just um, beyond lovely. And we appreciate your gifts. And um, we look forward to continuing to stay in touch with mm -hmm. you both, and we will cherish those. So yeah. thank you. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I just love the 
there's so many names and so many people, but it is, you know, the abundance when you mm -hmm. go to the beach and you just pick up rocks yeah. and look at them. Yeah. I and mean, that's how I felt with all the encounters. Like, yeah. oh my God, look at, there's one beautiful person after another yeah. and you pick them up and you spend some time <laughs> Sweet. with them. Sweet, yeah. And, and so, mwah, to yeah. all of you. And we, are, we're in love with Travis City and that whole area and can't wait to, to come go back. back. Yeah. yeah. Meg, let's pick the date. <laughs> <laughs> and no pressure. No, yeah. that was it was just such a glorious trip. Mm -hmm. Um so thank you to everybody and um yeah, it was and you know and we bought and we got some yarn. And <laughs> again, I will just say I Tracy and Jody, you kinda started the ball rolling yeah. with what joy you bring to this podcasting yeah. because it just wouldn't have occurred to me to go there. Right. without the impetus of you going there. And sure. I didn't know why I was going. I don't, you know, I didn't know. And But you, that whole thing, following your heart yeah. and just seeing where it takes you, mm -hmm. Meg talked about that. And I think a lot of us knitters, we follow our heart when we're choosing yarn and mm -hmm. we, then we practice that. Right. So we can follow our heart when we're connecting with each really other. And we're really good at practicing yeah, we the art of buying <laughs> yarn. Can, can we show off our Tracy yes. yarn first? Oh my gosh. So yeah. Tracy, um, uh, is an incredible fiber artist. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Okay, well, let me just say before we <laughs> can I so, say one thing? Wait, this is Tracy from um, It's oh, yeah. So You, mm -hmm. and we will link below so you know the exact spelling. Oh but my god, I love this. I know. Can you tell? Like, I know. Like, here, like, I'm, let's go in close. Yeah, I mean, can just, you see this gloriousness? So we're not even sure what we're... Like, I wore this around, mm -hmm. wool and honey, just like a little cowl. And I was happy as yeah. could be to do that. We had gone mm. to a furrier earlier <laughs> in the day. So that might have influenced us. You, had, right. you know, we had mink coats on and stuff like that. Yeah. But obviously... We, we have so some let's plans. Talk a, let's talk about... So um, this oh, yeah. is... Let's show her logo. So it's so you, and um, it's from farm, to farm to fashion, farm and, to fashion. and this mine is considered chunky weight mohair locks, core spun over mohair, plied um, with silk thread. I, wow. I mean, look at do you, the. <laughs> I, I mean, there there are no words. Yeah. And Tracy, she sells this at Wool and Honey, yes. so if you want some, oh. you can get it there. And she has all different she colors and styles. She made Clark Williams' RBG cardigan, and oh, we got was, to put that on. No, it was the or Roy, not, I'm Roy, sorry, G. Roy G. Bibb. Oh, and well, it was incredible. Like magnificent. Wow, we're just, we're in love with your yarn, mm -hmm. but we're mostly, mm -hmm. mostly in love with you. Yeah. Um, and I, I realized that knit, the beach knitting was such a frenzy. I didn't, I didn't knit at all, and I was just chatting, and, and um, Tracy had brought her spinner, spinning. spinning, and she was about to help show me how to do it, and then somebody fell, Joyce, you fell out of your chair, and I had to save you, and then it just led me down a rabbit hole of talking <laughs> to different people, so I... Tracy, I never got back to spinning with you, and I hope I get to do that some I point. I took a little video of her spinning. She, oh, she, yeah. you, you are Looking an up. artist beyond artist. Yeah. I, I mean, I we're so we're gonna try to figure out something to super do. fun to do with it, but we might just put wear her, it wear around it. and touch herself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you knew it was ha gonna happen, right? <laughs> Everybody knew this is gonna happen. Yeah. So I'm only taking it off because. It's it July. Is, but look at, I mean, it's just, it's like it's alive. <laughs> look at these beautiful curly locks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that, yeah. Yeah, so, so good. Oh, boy. So someday I really hope to learn how to sort of attempt that. So that was, that was one. Yeah, that yeah. was one of the, um, um, we both, I'm just going to say the things oh, we both yes. got. So the Wool and Honey has this collection of Pins. This is the Pink Sky Gazer. And I knew before I even went that I wanted this pin. This oh, you had seen it already? Yeah, oh. and I just waited to buy it there. So Meg, Caitlin, and I, we all bought these yes. pins. So sort of commemorative of our Yes, time because together. we had a lot of Pink Sky to look at. Oh, Beautiful so sunsets. And, um, yeah. and then in commemoration of, is that right? of our trip, um, Meg gifted these to us. So Sleeping mm -hmm. Bear Dunes is the is their mm -hmm. beach and their beautiful hiking area, mm -hmm. which we're gonna have to go back and try. But thank you for the pin. Mm -hmm. So those are, and then 
It's, oh, not you yet. Send okay. them. No, oh. we can show them. We don't. We don't know that you've gotten these oh. items yet. But ooh, look at this. I love that. This is a sticker, but we sent something. So a little something with this on it in that direction. Yes. But we also. So we went from. <laughs> let's see if we can get this right. Oh. We went from here. Uh huh. Down that's the extent of our math hour skills. Oh, yeah, we right? take turns driving. And yes. Mm -hmm. It was fun. It was it good. Was. So, uh, Caitlin, you got some more, some goodies I to did. show. So, um, I absolutely fell in love with um, Wool and Honey just got in a new, um, new to them, um, uh, Indie Dyer Earl Grey Fiber Company. And this is what I purchased. And I, I'm not sure it shows up, but there's a little bit of Stellina. 7525. Really. So it's 5% gold Stellina. Oh, and the colorway is called Rose Apothecary. Mm. Uh, the Earl Grey Fiber Company's yarn was so, so hard beautiful. to choose from oh. because it was all spectacularly beautiful. And so you can't just get two. You have to get three. Mm -hmm. And then what do you do with it? Well, Meg convinced me to do, mm -hmm. um, to knit the Millie sweater, um, which you've already knit. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, she's doing a knit along with um, nice, and knit. nice and Knit. And so I'm going to join the knit along. Um, and this will be a Millie. So beautiful. It is so cool. I wish <laughs> the Stellina was, oh, you could see a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. But just, oh. Yeah, this is just stunning. And I loved mm. Meg's. Meg, hopefully from Wool and Cookies, will take a picture of her yarn and post it on Instagram so you can see it. Oh too. yeah, her we rose meant to gold, do that. right? It's so That's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Um, so should I do my other? Yeah. Okay. And then um, my other purchase is from Stitch Together Studio. Look mm. at that deliciousness. Mm, I mean, that, that so doesn't good. scream summer. Oh, it's I don't so know fun. what. Okay, look at that. I just, <laughs> oops, there's one. Oh, there's. Mm, well. Sorry. Um, and wow. so um, the color is the 80s called. Oh, of course. Which you think it speaks to us in of our. Of course it does. Yes. Um, but it's just gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I was kind of thinking of the ripple crop top by um, Jesse, Jesse May. Uh -huh. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I love it. Kayla. But it's just so, so summery and beautiful. Yeah. So that's, that's my haul. You? Um, well, Yours was so the there was, yeah, I, Plucky was there with a the trunk show, and they uh, had samples, and they had a swan show there that was un unbelievable. <laughs> so You um, created quite the buzz as soon as you well, tried it on. I do, ch I, tell me if I shouldn't. Most of the time I ask if I can take pictures and if I can try on samples, and then, right? I do it most of the time. So right, anyways, right. I did try on the Swan Show, and I didn't re and I said, um, you know, that I didn't see this yarn in, in the store, but that if I had, this would be yeah, what I wanted. Yeah. And then, um, oh, I can't. Oh my gosh, blanking. Blanking. But anyways, Maine. Hattie, I no. think is her name. Mm. Anyways, she's the beautiful woman oh my from Plucky, God. and I'm sorry, I'm we, terrible. We're sniffing yarn fumes. I, I guess that's acceptable. I Haley. Know. Haley. Thank you, Haley. Oh, my gosh, sorry. Haley. You are such a delight. And, and such a brilliant dyer. Oh. Like, wow. Designer. Right? Ever, yeah. I mean. So her colors for her swan show were the nicest I'd ever seen, and I was... <laughs> You know, you fell in love. I fell in love. Yes, so, and then you put it on, and everybody else fell in love too. Well, it's just funny because yeah. you need to have things on body. You do. They You're just like kind of on a liner doesn't yeah. do it. So, yeah. Well, so, and it doesn't hurt that you look fabulous in oh, pretty much everything that's you put on. Not true, but thank you. Yes, thank you. I oh, you're wrong. Your love. <laughs> okay. And so Haley and I were talking about perhaps me making uh, a fangirl duplicates one show. Yes, I, so we'll mm -hmm. see if we can arrange that. I think you will be arranged. Yeah, well, because it was yak and a, yeah, it was yak, cashmere, cashmere and yak. It was their bow regard, so they didn't bring that along. And I, I have a birthday coming up. You do. So that was, I was, so I've sent the email, but Ch oh, Plucky, you did? yeah, Plucky's having some die, you know, to order event mm -hmm. going on right now, so you can check out that. We'll link it below too. Their yarns are their spectacular. Colors, I mean, yeah. I, we hadn't ever experienced Plucky in person. We've only seen it online and 
heard people talk about it, and everything that everybody says about Plucky is true. The mm -hmm. yarn, everything they do, their colorways, their bases are spectacular. Mm -hmm. And there's so many people, especially Wool and Honey, that are diehard Plucky people. I mean, they just, it's all they knit with, which we understand. Yeah, Yes, exactly. we totally understand. And um, we really um, love their business, and, and Haley was an absolute delight. So. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. We thought perhaps there would be some unhappiness. All these people in a tiny space with oh. yarn that they wanted and they could only get done. And it couldn't be further from the truth. No, it was, it was just Everybody like, took turns sort of going in, and coming back out. And then they pulled it up, and then everyone would love on yes. them. I mean, it was quite the opposite. We were all high on the yarn, and so, in mm -hmm. fact, we would... You know, oh, you have to get that. Yeah, yeah you have to. Yeah, yeah. We, we're very good at enabling other people with their money. Yeah. So, well, anyway, somebody had to do it, right? So there's going to be some plucky coming my way, that's and I be cannot exciting. wait to show you and to knit it up. Yes, that's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I have them handy, but happy birthday again to Tracy. And oh. it was so fun to share your birthday with you, and happy birthday to Meg too. You yes, both have Meg. that little window yeah. together. Yeah. So that was fun. Yeah. And I think we can move into our life. To in knitting, medicine. to actually knitting. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. No, um, I'm still gonna pop. How about my finished object? Oh, how about that? It's because it's screaming okay. to be. I worked on this on the beach. This is the Lunea shawl by Moonstruck Knit. Oh. And I'm just gonna give you a. Um, I'm going to show it to you before I put it on. It's mosaic knitting, and there's this big panel up here that you knit first, you know, so you would knit it down, and then you pick up and knit across this way. And it is an absolutely <laughs> fabulous. I feel like I'm photobombing I'm going to put it shawl. on two different ways. Like, I'm just going to put it on this way so you can sort of see how it you know, drapes and oh, how the fantastic. Well, it's I just it. so good. It's it is. so good. And the I yarn. Feel like, yeah. Go ahead. No, I was just like? going to say, I feel like everybody at, at the Wool and Honey event got to experience your beautiful shawls. And they're all going to be like, oh my gosh, it's done. It is. I know. Sorry for crinkles. Crinkle, crinkle. There are so, the, my only complaint, which I'm going to show you right now, is look at how much yarn I have left oh. over. Like, Ooh. I bought the required amount. How is that possible? I don't know. So that's pretty strange. Oh, yeah. Maybe All I right. should knit one. I'm so, yeah, I, I have enough for you to knit one. You just need to get white. There. Sorry for those crinkles. So this is wow. the yarn. Right here. Hillsbug. I can't pronounce, but... And then... Um, this. Hmm. Oh my God. It's very rustic. Oh. It has... I mean, but the squish factor and... Yeah. It feels like some... It feels like a living... Creature. It just has this Beautiful. charisma. It has this. The touch is amazing. Mm -hmm. The design. Here's here's the designer. Look how beautiful she is. She is beautiful. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's a very time-consuming knit because this stitch is um, every three stitches you have to pr increase by purling right. You know, so that's when you. That's the uncomfortable increase uh, where you go to the front and purl every three stitches. And then, of course, with mosaic, you have to go back and forth like brioche for mm -hmm. one row. So it took, and then there are 42 of these little tassels. Yeah. Well, and Megan and I were giving you a hard time because you said, it took forever. It's, this took forever. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And okay. how many weeks did it take? It took three weeks, but that's <laughs> summer vacation. You know, that's a long time in summer right. vacation. Mm -hmm. But anyway. This face. <laughs> Everybody out there. <laughs> yeah. So no, but it, yes, you worked very hard on yeah. that. And um, and I just, it's, it's spectacular. Fantastic. So anyway. And actually for blue, I actually feel like There's I could do that. Scene. I said it. Wow, Caitlin. Because it's denim -y. I just, the design. It's so incredible. Brilliant. So brilliant. And I, even just the back side, I mean, w that's what's so interesting, too. It's clearly a one-sided shawl, but, mm -hmm. I mean, look at the pattern on the back. Mm -hmm. Your floats or whatever you call it, it's just beautiful. Yeah. So, it, oh, the tech, look at the texture of that. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, here's the front, here's the back. Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. The tassel. How many tassels? 42. Hmm. 
That's yeah. not bad. So I can't say enough about it. Um, all her designs are so, yeah. so please definitely check her out. Yeah. I'll put this on late. Yeah, I think open. that's, but besides the ranunculus, those are the only FOs. Oh, so how reasonable. Yeah. And there's another cal going on. You can't sit that way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we had so many people. There so many go. people like. Well, here, here's a little yoga right now that we can all do together. By the way, so part of me, a little yoga break. Poetry? No, but I, I will say this much. <clears throat> These earrings are by Melissa Jenkins. Look at that. Melissa had her baby. Yay, Yay Goldie. Yep. So we can't wait to meet Goldie yes. and knit with her some more. And this is the kind of jewelry that oxidizes. Mm -hmm. So you oh, need to polish it. I know. And so I'm going to show you. Sorry. Because you know, it's brass. You take the little polishing cloth. You know how that works. And I have been not, I haven't been in balance lately. I have been knitting obsessively and not been going to yoga. Mm -hmm. I still walk. But I, I just want to say, for those of you who haven't experienced yoga yet, that it is it has nothing to do with the poses. It has nothing to do with the, the leotards or any of that business, what it looks like from the outside. Literally what it does on the inside, I feel like, is just like polishes you. It just reminds you to connect and notice your breath or notice your arm and space. And I have to say, like, this is where I get sore from mm -hmm. knitting and even just like just laying yeah. like this and these things that open right. your back and like have you be aware of other parts of your body and be aware of them how you move gosh it's just it's such a good resetting it and is. I and but I realized with the polishing we all oxidize every day just <laughs> from living our life we maybe our brain might get like dusty or yeah. whatever and it just resets that yeah so Literally, a lot of people don't do it because they think it's like standing in tree pose and balancing or something like that. But literally, I'm going to talk Caitlin through. And you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, watch. Here's one second of yoga right now. Notice that you're sitting. Do you notice that you're sitting? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then then just notice your belly space, right? Down there. Full of Ogden's. Doesn't even matter. Just, just notice okay. it. And then let that all be really heavy. And then just bring your attention kind of up through the center of your body. And then just pull your chin just away from your heart space a little bit and broaden here in your shoulders. And then just take one breath. I'm serious. I'm sorry, no, I'm take sorry. one breath. <laughs> it feels so much better to open this, this just for a second. Because we do this. Right. We knitters do this all the right. time. Mm. Yeah. So anyways, that was your yoga. That was Thank it. Thank you. That was awesome. But it, half of it is just attention. You're right. Not doing anything. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Okay. What do you got, Caitlin? Oh, okay. So save them from me because I works in progress. Can, yes. Okay. Well, I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm having a love hate relationship with my work in progress. Oh, are you? Um, yeah. Julie fixed it for you. She fixed it, and I've made some other mistakes. I'm not sure what's going on. But anyway, I, there's not much to show. But this is my Frankie? Uh, George, uh, George, Grace, Grace, and Frankie shawl. Um, the designer is, um, hold on, where'd it go? I don't know. I, have I had it out. Oh, Jennifer Lazond. That's okay. your name. Um, anyway, I am using, uh, Suburban Stitchers DK. She's at SSK right yep. now, if you're there. Um, lucky Long you. Yap. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But mm -hmm. anyway, that's where I am with that. Um, so we'll see where that goes. Okay. But that's where I am. Okay. Um, so there's another cow that's going on right now. It's the Unity Cow, mm -hmm. and people are whoa. Oh. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Justing. Here, let me adjust you. Oh, thanks, thanks. Okay. That makes okay. me want. I don't know what yeah, you're doing. I'm good. Okay. So people are knitting Come cardigans in. for Rhinebeck, and mm, another opportunity with that is that you can knit a steaked cardigan and then at Rhinebeck with Christy Glass cut it. So that means you'd have to delay some gratification. That must be very hard for you. It isn't. I'm feeling really good about it because you know the Oreo test or the marshmallow test that they do with toddlers to find out if they're going to be successful adults. They say, here is an, an Oreo and you can have 
it now, or if I come back, you can have two. Have you heard of this no. study? Oh my god! And and then they leave the room and film the toddlers. That's <laughs> I've, hilarious. I've seen them, you know, and the ones that are like push it away. Right. The ones that yeah. kick it, you know, like I would totally be the eating the Oreo toddler. No, <laughs> you would eat my everything. Oreo first. Well, at any rate. Yes. I, but so knitting is my adult way to reform myself. Oh, how's that going? It's going because I feel like I will get this. So I'm knitting the throwback. Oh my gosh, it's this gorgeous. This is with um, nightshades. Yeah. Parisville nightshades, which I wonder if the camera can even pick up a little right, right. bit. It's just hard. It's you know all of this one has rusty. all these flecks of rust, and then of course it's with spin cycle. And to be honest, at the moment, I can't remember the colors, but I so enjoy. It's on your Ravelry yep, page, though. I so enjoy. I didn't do anything to control it. I just let the spin cycle do its magic. And there so you use three different, three different colors. You know, one, 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 two, two, two. You know, and oh. the third one is this bright red. Wow. And there's a steak here, a five stitch steak. So I'm almost. I've done a sleeve. I've and I'm almost done with the second sleeve. And then evidently I can pick up the collar and, or the bands in the collar and just put it away and have it ready for Rhinebeck where Caitlin will cut, cut me open. I'm gonna cut you open? Yeah, of course. My, <laughs> I was knitting this I, It's like, cause I can't like, cut myself. No, I know, I, I know. It. I was like, I, I'd be happy to assist you in that. Yeah. So I was knitting on this at yoga and no, I don't know anything about Pokemon. But my instructor was like, it's like Pokemon. Evidently, every time they go to a new level, they break open and have more powers. Oh. So that'll be me. I'll be split open and have more power. Wow, I can't even imagine <laughs> you with more power. Yeah, so this is... Watch good. out, Rhinebeck people. <laughs> I know. Run. I can't wait. And I love the fit. I did an extra small, and I didn't make any modifications, mm -hmm. and I love it. Beautiful. Love, love, love I it. I can't wait to see it on. Yeah, that's exciting. So there's that. Okay, so I have a potential work in progress that Ooh. I want to share with oh, you, good. and this will be a nice oh, segue. Good. But um, we want to say thank you to Sandy by the Lakeside because she gifted us Aww. some beautiful project bags and look at her little Ooh. pin too. Yes, I put my pin on my big project. Oh, Sandy. <laughs> Mwah. Sandy. Mwah. These okay. are, so everything she oh, does. Look at the little tassel. I mean, her her attention to detail. Look at, oh yes, the inside. Mm -hmm. So a little plaid. And her little oh. gifts in here. Oh, the, she put in some, I, I think I have the tea. I yeah. wish there was smell-o-vision. Mm -hmm. I just keep it in um, David's like tea. Like a sachet. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. Oh, smell. Yeah. Can you smell that? People smell it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So that's in there. Um, I I'm also have. Touch. I have a little surprise. Oh. I good. don't know. I don't know where this is gonna go. Okay. But I, I had I cleaned up my knitting room um, this weekend, and so I was sitting with all my yarn around mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. okay. inspired. Okay. So I'm swatching. Oh. Let's see if you can guess what I'm swatching for. You're swatching the ranch with the mohair. An, an as if tea. Yes. Perfect. So. Okay. Oh <laughs> my God. I did it without That's you. So I picked sexy. out the yarn without you. Oh my you. God. I'm going right? to knit another one. Okay. This is so, so this, sexy. I bought, this is one of my first oh, purchases at Firefly Fibers. It is. Caitlin, I'm going to have to touch you when you finish. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I had this. Um, yeah. This is um, oh, Shibui. Shibui Silk Cloud. I don't know where the tag is. I'm sorry. I will look up oh, the name of the, the color name. I don't know the color name. But then my oh. other. Um, <gasps> so then I wound one of my. Um, so I showed you this a while ago. You are a genius. Ranch. I you just right? thought this in. I, I mean, was just like, oh my wait God. a minute. I think I can. I she have, was thinking about doing the bouquet sweater. Right. I've been stashing this <gasps> for a while. But then I was like. Oh, Caitlin. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> well, do you think I can get away with just two skeins? Yeah. Oh, totally. Really? Yeah. Even me? Please alternate. No, I know, but even me? Yeah, even you. 
Okay. I, and you have mine to, to try on oh, lengthwise. So, anyway, so I need your help later because I have to figure out gauge. Cause it's, but anyway, I just want everybody to see. So, so the As If Tea is by um, Shay Johnson. Mm -hmm. And I think that there will be some Rhinebeck fun for the As If Tea. I won't say that yet. But... Um, so anyway, I've just been swatching, so we'll see. I love that. Um, and you, you knit one, so anybody, we, we'll link below, but mm -hmm. anyway, so that's my little surprise. That is quite the surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Can't so I bed. did start a project, but I've already, do you want to grab it in the yeah. project? Oh, I'd love there? to grab it I'm for sorry. you. I'm <laughs> sorry. While she grabs it, I'll put these on. <laughs> there. We're going to have some people unsubscribe at I this know. moment. I know. I'm just going to touch <laughs> later okay no comment <laughs> we're taking a touching break <laughs> um i have the swatch well here. first of all show you this bag with okay. with your yarn it's just so perfectly matched fat squirrel fibers library bag i love this bag yeah so much i used to show, work wait show the view of the yarn in it oh and Look it's all that. full of wow. la Bienname yarn Wow, wow, wow. Um, so anyways, I had, it's slightly rustic yarn, I would say, a little bit. And I thought, and remember, I don't know if you remember back, I did a stockinette fade swatch that I didn't love. So I thought I definitely wanted to do it in texture. But, mm -hmm. um, and there was a shawl that came out that had this, you know, Kind of, it looks crochet like. Yeah, it wow. looks. So the crochet took it over the 70s edge for me. So I'm not continuing on with this. What? Really? No, I just, it's too 70s. It's too 70s. Like with the these 70s colors. Are in. But I, I don't want to go back. Oh my gosh, and them. you could put like tassels on I with know. all those colors. Well, so my mom said I should just bind off and give it to somebody with an American Girl doll. <laughs> it could be a little kerchief. Yeah, I tot yeah, there you go. Okay. Does that sell you on it? No, but <laughs> it's all very special yarn. I'm kind of considering this shawl oh. instead. This is yeah. uh Oh, it's West Knit. Yeah. Exploration Station. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to play. Wait, I, so I start up oh, here. Oh, so you so you love the color combination. Yes. You just don't like this design? Yes, because it looks like crochet and with those colors and crochet it is 270 gotcha. for me. I do like the texture and everything, so we'll see. And but I can't go there. I just can't. But yeah, I love the colors. Hmm. Um, so, anyways, did you know it would look crochet like? I didn't. They the the pattern that I used. I'll show you that was the Peru shawl, hmm. and it was done in all alpaca. And I just really, I guess I would say I liked how the colors touched each other. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be fun oh, to that's see. Sweet see the way the one co show them oh sorry <laughs> sorry I'm admiring <laughs> it on it. my lap <laughs> so you can see how the colors go up into each other and I thought that was really yeah fun. that is fun yeah and but it's just um, the repeat is too predictable in my you know like I think I would want with these colors bigger chunks bigger chunks thick and thin whatever I can mm. vary it but on the other hand I just doesn't so, do it for yeah, you. just at this point, it's a pausing. I'm pausing on that. Mm. Okay. And that's okay, because we have, we have lots of um, dream knitting, but I don't even think, I don't even think we're going to talk about our dream, unless you have some dream knitting. Oh, you you're, you're talk cutting about? off my dreams. No. <laughs> this is the moment she's cutting off my dream. Well, no what time are you dreaming for your... about? Tell oh, me, what a, well, we've been contemplating what to do. We, we have had the Cavalganti on our the yarn. list, yeah. but I'm contemplating whether that's the sweater for me or whether I want to use my La Bienname Modine yarn for a dotted ray shawl. Mm, mm -hmm. So that's my, yeah, that's on my list. But anyway, yeah. I, I feel like we, is it possible we've talked about everything? We've talked about everything in the past and in the present we're not really talking about the future very much and that's okay because I can tell you why the, there's just so many things I want to knit mm -hmm. and that if I 
that I, and I can't commit to any any of them right now. There's probably about six of six yeah. things I want to knit, and I don't. I feel like what's the point in talking about all the six? <laughs> six. What days? is the point? <laughs> yeah, because it's a knitting podcast. Yeah, it's Isn't a knitting podcast. So, anyways, folks. Oh, so we, let's talk about some of the things that are coming up for us, though. Absolutely. So Firefly Fibers, we talked a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. um, that's We're going to be there on July, Sunday, July 28th. And for those we're going to talk about the, the other, the, the book. There. So anyways, for those of <laughs> you who um, are there in person, uh, there is 10% um, off on some Brooklyn Tweed and some Julia Lane and some Quince and Co. Mm -hmm. And there are all sorts of other deals going on. So we'll put a link to the Wandering You website below yep. this podcast in the show notes, like right down there. And you can also give us a thumbs up and subscribe. So that, you know, I don't know. I think what that does, I finally decided, is it puts it in other people's feed. So if you like this, then more people will oh, see it. Gotcha. Um, well, and you get a notification when. Yeah. Our latest and greatest is out. Yeah. Right? So that's coming up, and that's and three days, and it's in Chicago. There's one. There's one up here. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to Stitches Midwest. Yes. That's um, it's the first weekend in, in August. August. We're going that Friday. Mm -hmm. we're, we're doing a caravan. Right? A little caravan with some of our knitting friends. Yeah. And uh, at that, there will be a diversity talk, which... They have free tickets for with Creative CC and Michelle from Stitch mm -hmm. Up. One four, what is her? One hundred forty-four stitches. One hundred forty-four mm -hmm. stitches and Lewis from Brooklyn Boy Knit. Oh, it's so it'll be exciting fun to, see to them hug again. on them all over yeah. again. And yeah, and I know that Beautiful Sisters will be down yes. there, and and some of the folks that we saw at Rochester will be down there, like Linnea Yarn. It'll be fun to see her again, and Molly from the Home. You mean? Lavender Loon. Lavender Loon. See, I'm bad with names. I apologize. That's, right. That's, why, That's why there's why two here. of us. Yeah. <laughs> Molly will be there. Oh, for boy, your knitting worked for the two of us. There we go. We're a good package. We're a package right. deal. Right, we're a package yeah. deal. Yeah. yeah. One word in the caddy long. Jack. Yeah, Jack's caddy. Jack's caddy. Jack's caddy. Jack's caddy. You're my caddy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was there doing, was a lot of that at Wool and Honey weekend. She was like, well, come on up. No, no, no. I hold the big bags and carry the stuff. You're always like, can you? Because it's full of your stuff. I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, it's so good I, of you to carry I'm more own. like your caddy is what I'm getting at. Oh, so okay. It's like I, I, sh I let her wear my glasses the whole time. You are just, you are such a giver. I'm such a giver. Wow. Yeah. I mean. But back to stitches. Midwest. Midwest. Mm -hmm. That's going to be exciting. Be Molly of a home fun house. Yes. Her friend Locke and Lou. Yes. Um, it's going to be and great. And Meg will be there. Right. She's bringing her daughter. So anyway. Oh, right. Yeah, so we're yeah. going to do that. And that's that's, we, that's about, I mean, that is a, the extent of our knitting. Well, then we have Jefferson Sheep and Wool, which well, is that's, our local. Yeah. But that's, that's what our school so will be September, started by right. then. So, oh. And then you're in. Yeah. Hmm. So hopefully, I'm just going to tell you this, that I hope to have at least one piece of sewing before the next podcast. I haven't done a stitch of sewing. No one's judging you. I know. I just want to at least do something. Our mending didn't happen. Mm, right. So that's that a winter totally thing. totally okay. Right. We're, we're all okay. busy. Yeah, we're all busy. So today we're going to go knit and eat chocolate and relive the s'mores experience. Yeah. And we hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to share? And you got to go to Stephen B. Oh, I did. Now. I got. I went. Did a little road trip to um, Minnesota to Minneapolis. Um, my daughter was registering for college, and so while she was registering, I was the bad parent that did not register for any of the parent orientation. You were better than me. But I that's, didn't a, even that's a given. Registering. I know that's a given. I was like. Um, but anyway, while I was sitting around waiting for her, I went to Stephen B., which is just an incredible yarn store in mm -hmm. Minneapolis. And Stephen B. actually was there uh, in the flesh, which was hilarious, because if anybody has followed him and knows him, he's very, um, he's got a lot of personality. So he literally walked into the shop, and he's like, I'm here! <laughs> And he had this flowing Let's shirt. This. It, it like, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> and I was I like, I think we should open a yarn. That's right. Okay. It's a swan dive. 
Oh, it's synchronized. Yeah, you're very okay, elegant. Thanks. I'm just like clunky. Thanks. But anyway, that, that, that was true. hilarious to witness that. Um, but if you are in the Twin Cities area or close to it or coming, passing through, go. It is, he has taken over this um, uh, old fire, fire station. station. So it's two levels of yarny goodness. Every, what he sells is amazing, but he does have a huge booth at Stitches Midwest. Um, but it, it, what he, everything he does is amazing. So that Yay. was super, super fun. So, anyway, again, that's it. That's come see us at Firefly Flybers next Sunday yep. from 12 to 2. Yep. And or wait at, come say hi at Stitches Midwest if you're there. We absolutely. We'd to love that. to meet you. And, you know, I did find, just to set the record straight, Teresa, it is me taking selfies with other people. Like, I walk up to people. I realize now about myself. I just want to take, because I'm so bad with names, I love having the selfie. Do you remember the woman who had the beautiful sweater on? Yeah, with the I know. <laughs> you mean that one person with the beautiful sweater? Hmm. Let me see. At any rate, I have her face now in my phone and her beautiful sweater. We don't know her name. <laughs> no, but we did another one of those like we did with EB Farm. Again, I'm blanking on names, but two women who were in their 70s. No, we sit on the um, so that was... Okay, that was Barb and Karen. We got them set up on Instagram. Oh, that was so fun. They were they were like us. I don't know. In twenty years. Was that what? No, they're not twenty years. That's, I think that's what they said. That could. They, I mean, they, they were they so, so fabulous. fabulous. If and I could have an ounce of that fabulous, oh. Like, oh my God, Barb and Karen. I hope I'm getting Karen's name right. I'm pretty sure. Okay. See, anyway, she's. I know I won't, but oh, we loved you so you much. You two were just so. Fun to meet and chat with, and mm -hmm. yeah. And so, anyways, what I'm saying yes. is that <laughs> what are you saying? What I'm saying is that it's worth your effort to go to places yes. and meet people in person. When, for instance, we'll just go all the way, like the grocery girls meeting them in person. They are like glowing. They're radiant, and this is women who have like been on the go, been on the go, been on the go. Like, I don't know how they managed to be radiant. I hope you're both resting. <laughs> resting. <laughs> yeah. And they they check themselves into some. Yeah, because, but anyway, so approach us. We'll take selfies. We'll hug you. We'll talk about your sweater. Jackie will so, pet you. I'll pet you. It's so worth meeting human yes. beings. Yes. Well, and, and that's, I mean, I have to say that, like, this whole podcast thing is crazy. Like, people were like, oh, can I say hi to you? Like, we're just two people with with an iPad videotaping. In that's my all we're in your <laughs> That's all we're doing. Mm -hmm. But the I think that the amazing thing about the podcasting is that you do get a glimpse into people's lives. Like, I think people have a sense that they know us, and when we watch other people's podcasts, you get a sense of who they are. So when you meet them in person, mm -hmm. it's this amazing energy that you've already made these connections in some way, like in your brain, and then it comes, they're in the flesh, mm -hmm. and it's like you can pet them. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jackie pets people, right? Anyways, well, right? it is okay. powerful, like, you know, touch is you know, a good thing. Just it's a little bit. All, just little say, bits yeah. of it. But at any rate. So if you like, if you don't, I like, and it's like um, uh, Caroline from, uh, Knitting vicariously, she talks about how to how to greet her because mm -hmm. she's kind of an introvert, and mm -hmm. um, you don't have to worry about greeting us. You can just go full in for the hug. We'll take uh, it, yeah. right? Or you can be like, <laughs> or you be like, Hi. don't pet me. Don't, yeah, I have a niece who's like, I don't like to be hugged, and yeah. I will say, okay, that's fine, or I will ask first. I mean, I do have social, you know, I have boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> They're just very wide. <laughs> <laughs> so we look forward to every time we record spending time with you yeah. in this way. And then the podcast has pushed us to go places to have adventures. Yes. And so if watching podcasts is, podcasts push you to say, ah, four hours is nothing. I'm going to go have an adventure. Then, then do it. Yeah. Because it's so Definitely worth, worth it. it. Yeah. So until our next adventure. Yeah. Happy knitting. Happy knitting. Okay. Bye. Bye. Also.
Are you still here? <laughs> Bonus <laughs> content. This is the like if you watch a an end game or one of the, the Marvel bloopers? movies. No, right. it's not bloopers. It's like oh. you have to go through oh, the, all the credits. Oh. And then when you and get then, to the credits, no, they here's give Sally. you they give you a whole other little bit of the movie. What's to come? So we she, should say who you are in yes. case we have mm -hmm. new viewers yeah. that don't okay. know. This is Sally. This is ja yeah, Jackie. Sally's mother. my mom. Yes, and, and you she's know, my started, adopted mother. And Cynthia mom, I still loans love her. You. Cynthia loans my Caitlin mom. to me from time to time. Yes. But we've got to get Cynthia here. And we do and absolutely. Yeah. About Sally Journey Quilts on YouTube right. and on Instagram. Instagram Sally Journey Quilts, and it's Sally, and the Journey is spelled J E R N E Y. That's her maiden name. Right. Well, you don't have a Sally Journey quilts necklace. No, you don't. But don't. whatever you wear, I beautiful. have this beautiful necklace that was purchased at Zip Dang by Joe for me oh, for Christmas. Oh, your grandson. Yes, my oh, grandson. So yes, nice. he did. He, thought he, he saw me eyeing it. So uh, nice choice in in colors, yeah. by the way. Right, kind I know. We didn't even plan this. Right I now. am wearing blue today. That just yeah. seems oh. like yes, and we are hot. We yeah. are. But anyway, I'm not bothered though. Yes. Um, it's what good. do you got here? It's do you good want me to hold this for yes. you. Okay. It's yeah. good to be back um, in Caddy Jacks. I always feel so excited to be. Yeah, well, here. you have a fan club. When we were in Michigan, we had so many people. Like, we love Sally. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh thank my you. gosh. Yeah. yeah, that feels yes. good. So we wanted to quick pop you on because you have some big news. I know. After years and years of thinking about doing this, I finally decided I would open an Etsy shop. Oh, yay, and I'm looking, Sally. Yes, I'm looking at my Etsy shop as, you know, I have Instagram, which I love, yeah. and I have my podcast, which I love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, selling quilts is very much a different thing for me, but I have stacks of them, and I realize I want to share them with people. Won't it be fun when you can say, and I sell quilts, which I love, and because I sell, it is yeah. just, it is yeah. just. Well, I have sold some quilts, and I just love that, you know, just in the week, it's yeah. been up, and it's been. Because you've gotten to connect. It's been I a have, way to connect. I have, yeah. I have, and so it's, um, you know, I have three more here that I'm going to be putting on the shop, which I'll show you, but right now it's 20 quilts, I think, something like that, and, it, and it's, it's. 20 um, works of art. Yes, thank you, oh, dear. Welcome. You are so sweet. <laughs> mm -hmm. but it, and you, you didn't know, even tell me to say No, that. and I just look <laughs> at it as like a little online gallery. Oh, um, yeah. nice way I would that. love to, you know, my perfectionism almost kept me from doing it at all because all I that. wanted yeah. to have the pictures taken professionally or by Jackie, right. which in my opinion yes. is yes. Yes. very She's close. Had, and and then it was kind of like, Mom, my other practical daughter, Jamie, oh, you said, Thanks. Okay. said I am here. just do it. Just yes, do, do it. it. Just do it. Just do it. So I decided on the back of my, you know, I walked. And that's how we've done everything. Yeah, we've right. just done it and none right. of it we've done mm -hmm. perfectly. And so you're I, here. I stepped right. out on my balcony and the ba out my bedroom went, you know, and there's a. You didn't walk. jump. I didn't. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped. Let's show yeah. them. There so, you. Okay. I jumped into, oh, that's. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So anyway, these are three that are going to be added today. That's the back. This is the Door County Bay where we're heading. Yes. Thank goodness. Next yes. week at this, this is time. This the back, we'll but I just the... thought I would like show right. the title. My quilts. I always like to do something fun on the back um, because I have to quilt them for some period of time, and I enjoy it. Yeah. I like beautiful fabrics. I'm just going to show her stitching. Right, because that's back. where it shows. Is really they're all hand quilted. So, at any rate, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this quilt, I quilt, quilted last year when we were in Door County, and it was very much like the marinas, the boats, the yachts, the blue, um, you know, the the nautical colors. So it by just, the time we get this video up, this will be there. Mm -hmm. That'll be on, I have to take a picture of it, so. Um, oh. And then this was one that I Banish also. i this word, but we'll let it go. Oh, I love the back fabric. Winter sky. That's a Liberty of London. That is a beautiful little fabric with sailboats in it. That, um, yes. Oh, I know you don't want to be reminded oh, of winter sky. Oh my gosh, but, those. but this is like the colors of the pink sky. It this is. This is such a perfect interpretation of looking at the sky. Mm -hmm. if, if you're going to do a quilt interpretation of some of those colors, 
Wow. I know that was oh. last year when you were off in off on a vacation with your cousins. Oh. And I stayed home and was just inspired to make that. Okay. This is one that I've had for a while. It is um, it's an autumn, I forget what a fall color fall colors, square. yes, because it's very I'm admiring the color of your quilting thread. Mm hmm Yes, and I love the backing on this. It's a very homespunny linen, um, That's cotton. Right. I just I love woven oh, fabrics. So beautiful. So the texture. So you'll find incredible. quilts like this and more. Yes, on and her what I Etsy. would say that I'm discovering because this Etsy shop I'm looking at is a work in progress. Mm -hmm. I go into it on a you know when I go in there and I'm editing and trying to figure out the best way of saying things. So in the description I've put the first paragraph is a description of the quilt, and the second two paragraphs are the description of the process. <laughs> So Excuse I me. encourage you to read it. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I encourage you to read it if you, you know, you can go to the, I'm hoping that the Etsy shop will be someplace that you can just go into for inspiration and enjoy the quilts. I would suggest going to a full screen monitor. Mm, it's much prettier. Good. I've, mm -hmm. I've looked on my phone and that's nice, but it's the same with Instagram. When you go to your full screen monitor, mm -hmm. you get so much. Sure more depth and color and right. it's just prettier so anyway so that's my perfectionism is go to well your that's hard to put your art out there and know it that is you know it's that it's not being going to be the same, same like yeah. a postage stamp mm -hmm, yeah. instead of because what's really you know what i work towards is finding the tiny little surprises mm -hmm, the little tiny mm -hmm. triangles that just show up mm -hmm. the little um embroidered detail that's only like half a circle mm -hmm. that's a piece of a wedding dress you know there's mm -hmm. so little you know like in the the door county um quilt that's coming the bay quilt has a little piece of my kimono from when i was a baby oh. living in okinawa yeah. mm -hmm. and that's um it's right here right here yeah. this one right there just that tiny little so that's a, a vintage like I am it's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a vintage, we're all vintage a well, vintage scrap quilts are just all about slowing down and observing and being present and and I will say even on here I have I don't know why I have this chop chop keep keep it going mm -hmm. and so we're going to encourage Sally also to do Instagram stories with each quilt. I was just going to say, you should tell do a video. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yeah, I've got to get that set up. In, mm -hmm. um, at least while, while in the meantime, while she learns how to do Instagram stories, because I actually don't know how to do video ones yet really either, so mm -hmm. I have things to learn. Yeah, yeah. Um, to figure out how to say But this subscribe is to her Insta channel, which is, isn't it just Sally Journey Quilts? Sally and Journey we can, quilts. we'll put, there is a, I'm having a little um, learning curve. I'm not going to say technical difficulty. It's <laughs> link tree, I think it is. Yeah. Oh, I've yeah, sort yeah. of gone in there and I don't quite get how that works. Yeah, well, we'll, but we'll figure it out yeah. so that I can have my podcast. We'll put a link in to the fact podcast that you have your own below. Instagram, your own Etsy. Uh, I mean, own you got it. You got it going on, Sally. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, dear. So, so yeah, we'll keep just. But anyway, thanks for tacking yeah. me on to Caddy oh, Jack. Yeah. I'm looking the forward caboose. to. I, yeah, the caboose. <laughs> yeah. I'm Sally looking forward. Caboose. To seeing what they've been up to yes. because I learn new things when I watch. So. <laughs> we keep secrets from mm -hmm. Sally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're going to yeah. go to Door County and do some knitting and quilting up there very yes. shortly. So yes, I maybe have there'll a be a new ready. quilt to show. Nice. Okay, so thank you again. Thank you. Bye. We're not going to have a blooper section. That's it. No, the whole, this is it. The whole show is a blooper section, so <laughs> yes. we don't need so, one of those. Okay. Oh, listen mm. to them. Bye. Bye. Everybody.